Hi everyone, my name's Lauren and I'm a wellness instructor at UREC at JMU. So today we're going to be um, doing a video about how to safely cut an avocado and I'm going to give you guys some helpful tips on knife safety and also we're going to turn the avocado into a quick guacamole recipe. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is the avocado. So when you're holding the knife, it's really important to make sure that you hold it like this so that all your fingers are out of the way of the blade. And then when we're cutting the avocado, the first thing you wanna make sure you do is always put anything you're cutting on a cutting board or flat surface, not cutting like in the air or anything like that. And another tip with avocados is to make sure that they're ripe or they're gonna be really hard and dangerous to cut. And if your avocados are not ripe, it's really helpful to put them in a dark like cabinet for a few days and they'll ripen up pretty quickly. So we cut the avocado, instead of cutting it like this, which doesn't keep it flat on the cutting board, we're gonna cut it around like this to make sure that we're being as safe as possible. So when you're cutting anything, you always wanna make sure you keep your fingers out of the way like this and they're not in the way of the blade like that. So first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to cut a little bit a little bit of the avocado right here. So then I'm going to turn it sideways like this and continue cutting all the way around the avocado. So one thing a lot of people do when they cut the avocado is they slam the knife down on the pit to get it out. That's actually really dangerous because you could miss and um, cut your hand. So it's always best to use just a spoon or something like that to knock the avocado pit out of the way. So then we're going to just take the avocado and if it's ripe you should be able to just scoop it out like this with a spoon. We're going to put it in a bowl. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead I have some other avocados in here that I already cut. And we're just gonna mash that all up and just make it into guacamole. So, avocados are ripe, this should be pretty easy. And to tell if the avocado is ripe, you just wanna make sure it's like soft to the touch and not like really hard or anything. After we got that mashed, we're gonna go ahead and cut some tomato here. So this is just half a Roma tomato. I already have the others cut in this bowl. So once again, you wanna make sure your fingers are out of the way. Cut like this. Sometimes tomatoes are easier to cut also with a serrated knife. This tomato is kinda of hard to do because it's squishy. So, then you're just going to cut it like this. Keep your fingers out of the way. We're just going to put all the tomatoes. I just have four tomatoes here. I already cut up the rest of them. And then we're just going to add them as many as you want to the guacamole. If you don't want chunky guacamole, you can just skip like the tomatoes and just have avocado with the seasonings. So next thing I'm going to add is some garlic. So I already peeled this but you're just first going to cut off the ends of the garlic and then we're going to mince this up. Garlic is one that you have to be really careful to watch your fingers. You can get this as small as you want it. You want it like really fine, just keep that same. Okay. So I have about two larger cloves of garlic in here that I cut up previously. So we're just gonna add that to the bowl. So then we can stir all that. Okay, 
It's pretty chunky guacamole. <laughs> All right. So next I'm going to add, this is about two tablespoons of lime juice, or you could use lemon if you don't have lime juice. And then in here I have half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground pepper, and half a teaspoon of cumin. I'm gonna add all that. Stir it together. And with guacamole, you can really add anything you want. Like you could add, you could add jalapenos, um, onion, cilantro, just really anything you have, I think, you might wanna go in there. All right, so then we have that. And you can eat this with chips. Um, you could even eat it with maybe carrot sticks or you can add it to the topping for tacos or anything that you're making. So that's all for this video, guys. Hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you later. Bye.